Hello everyone, welcome to AI Sciences. Today we are going to discuss about how we can detect fake news with the help of conventional libraries such as Plotly, Pandas, NumPy and Skitlearn. So without wasting any time, let's get it started. First of all, what is fake news? A type of yellow journalism, fake news encapsulates pieces of news that may be hoaxes and is generally spread through social media and other online media. This is often done to further or impose certain ideas and is often achieved with political agendas. Such any news items may contain false or exaggerated claims. Other than that, there are a few terms that you must be familiar with. The first term is term frequency. Term frequency is the number of times a word appear in a document. So if the number is higher, the term frequency number is higher, it means that it, ha the, it has been repeated a lot of times in the document. Another important term is IDF, which is inverse document frequency. It tells if the word that is being repeated many times has any significance or not so this is what idf means so we are going to use both of them we are also going to use passive aggressive classifiers passive aggressive algorithms are just online learning algorithms which remain passive for correct classification outcome and turn aggressive in the event of miscalculation unlike other algorithms it does not converge its purpose is to make updates that correct the loss causing very little change in the norm of weight vector so the data set that we are going to use today for this fake news detection is of shape 7796 by 4 so the first column identifies the news the second and third column as you can see there are four columns the second and third column are the title and the text and the fourth column has label that denotes there whether the news is fake or not so let's get it started first of all we need to import our, all the libraries so let's import import numpy as np import pandas as pd we are also going to use iteration tools so therefore import iter tools after that let's import plotly dot graph for graph method objects graph objects as go other than that we are going to use kitlan in this so first we are going to get the train test split other than that we are going to get the passive aggressive classifier and other than that we are going to get accuracy and confusion metrics train test split as well as tf id vectorizer which has both tf and idf as well so let's import all of them one by one so from sklearn dot model dot selection import chain underscore test underscore split other than that let's import from sklearn dot feature underscore extraction dot text import tf idf both of these things vectorizer after this let's import passive aggressive filter as well
import passive aggressive classifier other than that we are going to use classification report which is available in skitlearn.matrix classification or report and the last thing that we are going to use is accuracy score to check its accuracy as well as the confusion metrics right so let's run this let's install plotly because it is not available here okay so now that we have installed it let's run this we have imported all the libraries now the next work is to import the csv file into the data frame so for, so for that we are going to use df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and the name of the data set in my folder is fake or real news dot csv so let's run this so now that it is in the data frame let's check its shape so this is the shape of the data set we can also check the head of the data set by just writing df dot head so this is the first thing and this is the title first column this is the title this is the third column which is the text and this is the label which is saying that the news is fake or not so this is the data set now the next thing is we can also check the count of the things available in the data set so for that let's write df dot label dot value underscore counts and there we go we have 300 3171 real values real news and 3164 fake news now let's save this label into a variable i after this the next thing is to show the figure with the help of plotly so for that we are going to write fig is equal to go which is the plotly variable go dot figure right so after that we are going to give it the data and the data is go dot bar and the value of x is equal to there are two values here the first one is real and the second one is fake right so after this the next thing is what is y y is equal to i which are the values and other than that what is text text is also equal to i right so and let's give it a auto text position so text position is equal to auto and that's it now let's write big dot show there we go these are the values these are the real news and these are the fake news so you can also see that we have done this and we have also shown it in the graph as well the next thing is to make sure that we are uh, you know sort of making the x train y train and x test y test for uh, the machine learning part so that we can perform the detection so for that let's write x underscore 
ten right comma x underscore test comma x under y sorry y underscore train and at the end y underscore test and what is it equal to it is equal to train test split so that we are able to split our data set so train underscore test underscore split right and here we are going to write data frame what are we going to pick from the data frame we are going to pick text from the data frame other than that we are going to label it and what is the test size it is 0 0.2 and at the end what is the random state and for that let's write random underscore state is equal to seven let's close the bracket i think i deleted it somehow anyways so now that we have x chain we can also do some testing here so this is the x chain and let's suppose if we want to see y test so this is the y test right so it is having the things that it, is it real or fake right and it is having the thing that uh, what is the text value and uh, this is how we can convert it into x and y values the next part is to use the tfidf vectorizer that so for that first let's write tfidf underscore vectorize Zer is equal to tf idf right so after that let's write vector riser and let's give it stop words so stop underscore words or english and what is the maximum underscore df it is equal to 0 0.7 right so let's run this let's put in a few cells now what do we want to do we want to perform the transformation to do the transformation the first thing that we need to do is we need to make a tf idf train and test split as well so let's write tf idf train is equal to tf idf underscore vectorizer right and after that vectorizer dot fit underscore transform and here we are going to write x train in the same way what we can do next is we can write tf idf underscore test and here we can uh, use the same thing so tf idf underscore vectorizer dot transform and here let's use x test right so let's run this and after this now that it is completed after this we are going to use the passive aggressive filter for that let's write passive is equal to p a double s i v e a double g r e s i v e passive aggressive plus c fire maximum iterations is equal to 50 right so after that let's write p a c dot fit and tf idf underscore train and then y train okay 
it is saying that passive aggressive is not so let's check its spelling it's p a double s i v e a double g r e double s i v e and then classifier right yes it's f here right i d f what is happening here all right okay so there we go we have our classifier as well now we can perform the prediction for that let's write y prediction is equal to pac dot predict and let's write tf idf underscore test here after this let's write the score is equal to accuracy underscore score and here we are going to have y underscore test and y underscore prediction for the accuracy test now after this we can also print out the accuracy let's use the f string here so let's write f then accuracy and then let's round it and let's use the score that is coming multiplied by 100 and the result that we want should be in percentages okay so now let's see the accuracy okay so there is some error here right so let's see what it is okay not this one only this one okay so it is telling us that we have a 92 percent accuracy so it means that when the classifier that we have been able to develop has 92 percent accuracy which seems like a very good accuracy so so this is how you can develop your own classifier with the help of passive aggressive classifiers as well as tf idf vectorizer so as you can see we also have a very good accuracy this is one project we have a lot of other projects as well on topics such as this so uh, l let's come back to ai sciences for other projects as well Thank <music> you.